and there is some confusion and controversy about HEPA filters and whether or not they work for viruses, small viruses like SARS-CoV-2. And when I posted that interview with Professor Allen, this comment sums up the confusion pretty well. It says, I don't understand how people continue to promote HEPA filters when it's evident that they don't adequately remove particles as small as the COVID or SARS virus on a regular basis. You would need a filtration of 0.1 microns level to adequately remove 99.99% of the viral particles. HEPA filters don't do that. And the confusion, I believe, stems from some of the language that's used. So this is Amazon.com, and I've just done a search for HEPA air purifiers. I'm going to click on this one. A lot of them say the same thing. And this one says, true HEPA filter captures 99.97% of airborne pollutants as small as 0.3 microns. Okay, 0.3 microns. How small is the SARS-CoV-2 virus? It's about 0.1 microns, so smaller than that 0.3 that this product and others advertise. So one could read this and think, okay, it does really well. It particles slightly bigger than the SARS-CoV-2 virus, but doesn't look like it's going to capture that. And I want to read something to you from the EPA, the United States Environmental Protection Agency website, which clears this up pretty quickly. And then I'll show you some of the research behind it. It says... HEPA air filters can theoretically remove at least 99.97% of dust, pollen, mold, bacteria, and any airborne particles with a size of 0.3 microns. The diameter specification of 0.3 microns responds to the worst case, the most penetrating particle size. Particles that are larger or smaller are trapped with even higher efficiency. The worst case particle size results in the worst case efficiency rating, i.e. 99.97 or better for all particle sizes. Okay, now let's look at the data. This is a study put out by NASA in 2016. And there's just one chart from this study that helps clear up this issue. And you can see capture efficiency percentage on the y-axis and diameter in microns on the x-axis. So let's go ahead and add the size range for the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which is about 0.06 to 0.14 microns. And the red lines just show different capture methods that a HEPA filter uses, but the blue line is really what we want to pay attention to, and that's just the total capture efficiency of a HEPA filter. And you can see a couple things. Overall, it's incredibly efficient at capturing small particles. The lowest it drops to is 99.97. But you can also see that as you get to this range of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, that it is above 99.99%. So it's extremely good. HEPA filters work. They're relatively inexpensive. You don't need a HEPA filter or purifier with fancy features like ionization or anything like that. Just a simple HEPA filter and a system that's powerful enough, whether it's a portable air purifier or a system on an airplane or in a commercial building that is powerful enough to move ample air through that filter. If you just took a nap, no problem. The one sentence summary is that HEPA filters work really well, including for small viruses like SARS-2.